Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Tuesday, the 16th, I think, of uh, November, uh, Tuesday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. And uh, our readings today, uh, it, there's, it's sort of, it's kind of funny how the first reading is not losing something that you had, and then the second reading is finding something you didn't have. So it's, it's a kind of a, a yin and a yang, if you will, uh, today in our readings. Uh, Eleazar, in our first reading, an elder statesman, and he was being coerced by the king and his uh, people to uh, deny the laws of their, his, the Israelite people and eat pork. Uh, and he refused, and uh, they didn't really want to. They liked him. They, the the people liked the Leazar, so they they tried to devise a, a way to to save him, to protect him uh, from torture and death. Uh, they said, "Well, bring bring some of your own food, your own meat that you can eat lawfully, and just we'll just pretend that it's uh, pork." And you just eat it, and uh, then you know we will we won't torture you, we won't kill you. But he couldn't bring himself to do that because it would set the wrong, it would send the wrong message and set a bad example for for his people. And so he refused to take the easy way out, uh, proclaiming loudly that he would. Uh, happily go to his death uh, rather than defile himself and break God's law. So that's what happened. And so he did not lose what he had, which was his friendship with God and his salvation. So thanks be to God for the example and heroic behavior of Eleazar. In our gospel today, uh, we hear the story of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, a short man, a, a tax collector, a uh, someone who was not highly regarded by the Jewish people or the Pharisees or the, the scribes. They, they, they knew him to be a quote-unquote sinner. And uh, he wanted to see Jesus, and uh, but being short, he uh, kind of ran ahead where Jesus was walking and climbed up a a sycamore tree and waited for Jesus to come by and Jesus saw him in the tree and called him by name Zacchaeus Zacchaeus come down because I'm going to eat dinner at your house today and the Pharisees of course uh, didn't think much of this saying that look he's, he's eating with with sinners and uh, Jesus reminded them you know that uh, he came, he came for the lost. And so he brought, you know, and Zacchaeus, when Jesus said he was going to stay with them and found favor with Jesus, Zacchaeus proclaimed that if he had cheated anyone, if he had uh, shortchanged anyone, he, would, he was going to repay it and make amends for any errors that he might have uh, uh, committed along his life. So he didn't have something, but then he found it. So you see in our two stories today, uh, not losing something you have, and then finding something and gaining something that you didn't have. Both beautiful stories, both wonderful uh, inspirations for our own lives and, and our own uh you know, our own ways of, of thinking about things. We need to always uh, seek what we don't have when it's if we're trying to grow a deeper and closer relationship with God and uh, if we have a close relationship with God we have to strive not to lose it so let us pray our evening prayer together in a way of bringing ourselves closer to our Lord let us pray in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, 
Come to my assistance, Lord, Lord make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. Amen. Amen. God has crowned his Christ with victory. May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favor. May he give your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your plans. May we ring out our joy at your victory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed. He will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we, in the name of the Lord, they will collapse and fall, but we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Give answer on the day we call. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, you accepted the perfect sacrifice of your Son upon the cross. Hear us during times of trouble, and protect us by the power of his name, that we, who share his struggle on earth, may merit a share in his victory. God has crowned his Christ with victory. We celebrate your mighty works with songs of praise, O God. O Lord, our strength, give joy to the King, how your saving help makes how your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You, you came, came to meet him with the blessings, blessings of success. You, you have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He, he asked you for life, and this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king, the king has, has put tru trust, trust in the Lord. Lord. Through, Through the mercy of the, the Most High, he shall, he shall stand firm. firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you have given us life on this earth and have met us with the grace of redemption. Bestow your greatest blessing on us, the fullness of eternal life. We celebrate your mighty works with songs of praise, O Lord. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests for God, our Father. O Lord, our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have, have created, created all things, by your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, with your blood you purchased for God, men of every tribe and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on earth. Worthy, worthy is the, the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have made us a kingdom and priests for God our Father. A reading from the letter to the Romans. We know that God makes all things work for the good for those who have been called according to his decree. Those whom he foreknew, 
he predestined to share the image of his son, so the son might be the firstborn among many brothers. Those he predestined, he likewise called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from the beginning. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from the beginning. He has taken her to live with him, his loved one, from the beginning. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from the beginning. I tell you solemnly, what you did for the least of men, you did for me. Come, my Father delights in you. Receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From, from this, this day, day all generations, generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. I tell you solemnly what you did for the least of men, you did for me. Come, my Father delights in you. Receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Through the intercession of holy women, let us pray for the church in these words. Be mindful of your church, Lord. Through all the women martyrs who conquered bodily death by their courage, strengthen your church in the hour of trial. Be mindful of your church, Lord. Through married women who have advanced in grace by holy matrimony, make the apostolic mission of your church fruitful. Be mindful of your church, Lord. Through widows who eased their loneliness and sanctified it by prayer and hospitality, help your church reveal the mystery of your love to the world. Be mindful of your church, Lord. Through mothers who have borne children for the kingdom of God and the human community, help your church bring all men to a rebirth in life and salvation. Be mindful of your church, Lord. Through all your holy women who have been worthy to contemplate the light of your countenance, let the deceased members of your church Exalt in that same vision forever. Be mindful of your church, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, you gave St. Margaret of Scotland a special love for the poor. Let her example and prayers help us to become a living sign of your goodness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone. Joseph, say good night. Silly dog. All right, we'll see you all tomorrow. God bless.